Combat Cast starts now. All right, and welcome to the new Combat Cast. We're so excited to be back. I know it's been a while. Been very busy getting some trailers out there. We've been at Evo. Yep. Which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, there it is. Yep. I was waiting for it. Combat Cast, Combat there Cast. Is. There, there it is. is. There it is. Very excited. Wow. Okay. Uh, so here's the deal. We're going to introduce ourselves. I am Tyler Lansdowne, uh, one of the community managers here at NetherRealm Studios. I am Derek Kurtzik, one of the designers here at NetherRealm Studios. Hi, I'm Tiago, and I am a art development director also here at NetherRealm Studios. There we go. Weird. Hey, so we, we, we all work chances. together. We're we're the chances. So today we're going to talk with Tiago in a little bit about uh, sort of creating stages and how that whole system works. And then after that, Stephanie's going to come by and we're going to run through some characters with you. Uh, we have Garrus today. Ashra and Smoke. Oh. So we're going to do a character breakdown of all three of those characters. And at the end of the stream today, we're going to have a fight that QA put together, which again, like they did last time, is awesome, with Lee May and I believe Smoke. What a, what with, about, a fun, with a fun little uh, fatal, fatal ending, what, I would say. What, 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 what about the, the belt battle? It's coming back. It's coming back? Not today. Oh. Um, I have something for that. Go ahead. Mm. He's scared, folks. He's scared. Very scared of the belt battle. Um, hope to have one of those coming for you really soon. Um, other than that, so that's that's well, we got new new collectibles, by the way. Oh. New collectibles from Sideshow and Iron Studios. Nice. Um, classic uh, sub and Scorpion. This, that's Scorpion, and that's Sub Zero. Yeah. That is correct. That is why you're the art development director. Is that what it is? Hey, yeah. Nice to meet you all. Thanks. No, <laughs> thanks no. for having me. First, first thing down, he knows some of the characters in the game. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very important. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. before we start, if you weren't watching during the Evo broadcast from the finals, uh, we did show a new trailer. Oh, and it's a good one. And it got... We, we, first of all, thank you so much for uh, all the kind comments about it. The we team, did? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of, well, it was kind of a thing. You know it's what? kind of a thing. You know, let's take a look at it right now. What? Let's do it. Again? Realmers aren't ready to see the real me. So how does it work? You just shape shift into anything you want? I can shift only between this and my natural form. Whoa. That I could take human form made me a freak among my people. I was terrorized. Run out. <laughs> Misread my intentions, Princess. I am Ashra, demon of the Nether Realm. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. <laughs> and Sizos. Come. The monks must prepare you for war. You will accept chaos by choice or by force. Killing one realm to free another is a heinous proposition. One I won't let you fulfill. <laughs>
take your chaos elsewhere. There we are, the banished new trailer. Uh, showed it at Evo. Thank you again, like I was saying earlier, for all the amazingly kind comments about it. Uh, we, it awesome, just like yeah. The team. I mean, obviously, you see a trailer like that. There is just all hands are in that somewhere, and it's just a beautiful trailer. People thought maybe it was just going to be reptile. Um, was a little bit more. Yeah, no, it really is showing off the three D era characters, and we're bringing them back. We've listened. Um, we're excited to like put a new spin on some of these characters that people haven't seen for sixteen years or so, mm -hmm. right? Um, and to give them new life and new personalities, and to uh, make Reptile probably the coolest he's been in quite some time, and the cutest, and the cutest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us go one by one. We'll start with you, Tiago. About yeah. what was your what what stood out to you about the trailer what was your what part so made you uh, there's really two things i'm gonna pick one but like uh, you can I do really, two you're I our guest do two. You're, okay. you're i'm gonna guest. do two okay Thanks first yes, to to. I'm, I'm like an old school reptile guy i love reptile so just seeing him again and seeing the fan reaction to him has been incredible so that's awesome but also seeing uh the corrupted living forest oh right? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. See a, a spooky living forest not right. the really nice cute people one people were we wondering if, if there's some of the dark stages will be right. returning there and the is. banished trailer starts told, with a banger of a dark it starts one. with a really dark one. Yeah, yeah there's like i think flesh and body parts and I, I don't know what's going on there i'm not i'm not ready to talk about that okay, one okay, yet, okay, you know okay. we'll just have so to worry. wonder what that one they're is there. okay they're there they are there okay mm -hmm. mr kurtzik yeah um for me, it was Havoc punching the opponent during the uh, the fatal blow so much that he breaks his own hands off and then stabs them in the head with the bones. I think it's awesome. I love it. Awesome. Mine would be the uh, reptile, the death roll. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just a blop, 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 blop. I love that. It's uh, brutal and just it's super imaginative coming from a yeah. reptile like mm -hmm. that. Like Absolutely. It, we all know that that, that I death roll is. We've all been there. Yeah. I was hitting <laughs> you with that yesterday. You were hitting me with that yesterday. Ah! I do remember that. Mm. Um, mm. Well, that's great. See? Mm. Tyler, salty about losing. I don't know. Salty. Yeah. Um, you lost too, though. I did. I did. I did. Hey, you know, it was about the fun we had. It was, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> um, so let's talk real quickly. Um, Tell us your job. What do you do? Well, he here? told us his job. He so I'm. In, <laughs> I'll get into it. So I'm. I'm an art development director, um, which uh, means that I, I help the development of characters and environments. Um, so I work with our extremely talented in-house art team and our external partners. Uh, who do amazing work incredible work all the credit goes to them i'm here but like really all the love and admiration goes to them um because yeah they they have put together some incredible art this this game and um I, we're we're really proud of of what and the, the level game of detail like. that there is in literally everything yeah. and even the fun little easter eggs Ooh, there's mm. a lot of fun little Easter mm -hmm. eggs. We've been able mm -hmm. to put a lot of them in the environments, and, and we're really happy about that. I feel like almost, like, I mean, the stage is just every game. They keep keep getting better, keep getting more intricate, and they tell their own story. Mm -hmm. they're yeah. Like, they're, they're almost like a character within the game themselves. There's stuff going on in the background you got to keep your eye on. It's really absolutely, cool. absolutely. And with the new consoles, right, like, we've been able to do much more in, in the backgrounds than we've been able to in the past. And we have things like the, the lighting scenarios and things like that that really kind of help... Uh, give you some visual variety to the levels. And give it life. And give it life. Give it life. Mm -hmm. Let's talk, kind of start to finish, how this occurs. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I, I brought some artwork along with me. Uh, so we can, uh, we're can we going to look at some concepts of the living forest. And we're going to look at some speeds first. So if you want to cue them up, um, the first, you know, our first step here when we start designing an, a, a background is we start with these speeds. Now, we say speeds, but these are, are pretty fleshed out concepts. And full credit goes to our, our environment concept artist at, in the studio here, Joe Zanko, uh, who did a number of these. There should be three of these if you want to kind of, uh, you know. How long does a speed take? You know, it, it, it really depends on, on the level of like completeness that we get to them. I would say these probably 
you know, between all of them about a week uh, mm. to, to get a, a, a sheet of them done. It, it's funny they're called speeds, but then they're, they're, they're full-blown pieces of art. They are full-blown pieces of art. And what we do with these speeds is we, we find areas of, of interest in them and then kind of combine them into a final concept, right? So we'll find like, hey, we like the way this tree looks in this one, or we like the composition of this speed. Pick and, and choose. And pick and choose, and we kind of combine it and Frankenstein it. It's like into... an amalgamation of like many, many speeds and one thing that everybody agrees on. Everyone agrees on, yeah. So we have a, a, a final concept with like a top-down kind of a, a view here. Here we go. Mm. So this is what the final concept for Living Force looks like. Um, and then we also do a top-down to just kind of help you know, spatially kind of figure out how this thing is, is laid out. And this really helps our, our 3D environment art team. So like Corey, This also shows some depth. It does. It absolutely does. Yeah. Um, and, and that's really important with our, our shoebox levels, right? Like we really want to have that depth and that parallax. So as you're kind of moving back and forth on the, on the fight line, you have that, you know, things kind of come in and, and go out of view, um, and it really kind of gives you that 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 cool depth. That is there is there any fun little creatures or anything inside that environment? Ooh, there are. There's a lot of fun little things like um, the, the whole idea behind the Living Forest. This game, if you want to pull up the pan, uh, we can yeah. talk up. Yeah, here we go. Um, so a lot of the 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 fun little things with this uh, version of of the Living Forest has been that you know the trees are almost like these ancestral kind of guardians that like uh, you know they're tied to, to different families so you have almost like offerings at the base of all of those trees of people that coming coming into the living forest year after year kind of depositing these uh different offerings to the trees and we have like little baby trees too that are just little starting baby out. trees oh little baby trees little baby trees um these so trees don't look like they want to eat anybody they don't know these are these are really nice trees did you, you get know? the the five-legged deer in or no <laughs> that's for something else oh gotcha gotcha gotcha, gotcha. And, uh, <laughs> like this the sweet like god rays coming through the the the, the trees and like yeah it, it's great how like as you see it pan how deep you can see, how far yeah. back the forest actually goes. Exactly. Just adding that depth to a fighting game, it, just, it makes it feel so living and so vi living. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's a forest that's right. living. living. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's really, it's just cool to see how deep it can go. Absolutely. And, and, and you know, even with things like, like uh, JT, who does all of our lighting with the different lighting scenarios, right? Like, even the, the different lighting scenario for Living Forest gives it a completely different vibe, right? That's like, awesome. We've seen it in a couple of trailers in the past, but... Yeah, I, I think it, it really helps. So, you know, huge shout out to the lighting guys, to the environment guys. The Corey art Pico, team all around. Everyone, Absolutely. like honestly, fantastic work. Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add about like... Beating Tyler. Beating oh, me? Sorry. What some of your favorite things about your job are? Oh, like that? man. I, it, like, I think the, 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 the best thing about my job is just the people I work with, mm -hmm. right? I, I, I know I'm going to get sick of, uh, uh, you guys are going to get sick of me just shouting people out, but like really, it, it, it is such a group effort. Um, everyone here is, is, you know, putting in hard work to make this thing look as good as it can, and, and I, I think it really shows, and I'm incredibly proud of the team and, and the product. Oh. You know, and just the, the responses we've gotten to a lot of the new stages that people saw in the trailer, I hope those definitely bowie you all and make oh, you feel happy absolutely. because they're just like... It makes us so happy to so see So many them. cool comments about it because people were, people were very like, you know, the stages are beautiful, but a lot of them are bright and where, yeah. where's the dark? Oh, well, oh, you brought hey, the darkness. Here's you some are. darkness. <laughs> yeah, here's so, some darkness. So don't worry. Yeah. We knew. We no. got you covered. <laughs> we got you covered. So, don't worry. <laughs> thank you so much for coming by and showing yeah, this stuff. Um, stages look awesome. Um such a big part of the game. Such a, such a like I said, a its own character of the game, and it adds so much flavor and awesomeness. To I'm it. excited for people to get their hands on it and, and go through every little very little soon. Inch. It's yes, coming. Very it's soon. very soon. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. So we'll let you get back to doing some stage stuff, looking at some speeds. No, Still not? probably. Yeah, probably. I probably got to do that today. See, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna play you a quick trailer. You've probably already seen about our DLC, but it's still awesome. We're gonna show it again, so we can get Stephanie in behind, and you can get out. So. I'm gonna lay down on the back. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Yeah, by me. I'm gonna miss you. Out. Don't leave. I won't. So I won't. thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. And we will be back shortly with some character breakdowns. The battle between good and evil is eternal. 